Windows Presentation Foundation is a next generation presentation system for building Windows client application with visual stunning user experience. With WPF, you can create a wide range of both standalone and browser hosted applications. Some examples are Yahoo Messenger and the New York Times Reader. The core of WPF is a resolution independent and vector based rendering engine that is built to take advantage of modern graphics hardware. WPF extends the core with a comprehensive set of application development features that include extensible application markup language also known as XAML controls, data binding, layout, 2D and 3D graphics, animation, styles, templates, documents, media, text and typography. WPF is included in the Microsoft.NET framework so you can build application that incorporate other elements of the .NET framework class library. So within this video tutorial first of all we are going to consider about the part of .NET framework 3.0 and 3.5 and also what are the features and the supporting elements supporting environment and so on. Then I am willing to go quickly through the .NET Framework versions and briefly discuss the improvement what they gain with a small comparison. The major components of WPF are illustrated in the figure. The red section of the diagram that means the presentation framework, presentation core and mill core are the major core portions of WPF. Of these, only one is an unmanaged component that is the mill core. Milcore is written in unmanaged code in order to enable tight integration with DirectX. All display in WPF is done through the DirectX engine, allowing for efficient hardware and software rendering. WPF also required fine control over memory and execution. The composition engine in Milcore is extremely performance sensitive and required giving up many advantages of the CLR to gain performance. WPF introduces an extensive, scalable, and flexible set of graphics features that have several benefits. One of them is the resolution-independent and device-independent graphics. The basic unit of measurement in the WPF graphics system is the device-independent pixel, which is 1 upon 96 of an inch regardless of actual screen resolution, and provides the foundation for resolution-independent and device-independent rendering. Each device independent pixel automatically scales to main match the dots per inch setting of the system it renders on. Another advantage is the improved position. The WPF coordinate system is measured with double position floating point numbers rather than single position. Transformation and opacity values are also expressed as double position. WPF is also supports a wide color gamut and provides integrated support for managing inputs from different color spaces. Advanced graphics and animation support also is an advantage of the WPF. WPF simplifies graphics programming by managing animation scenes for you. There is no need to worry about scene processing, rendering, loops, and bilinear interpolation. Additionally, WPF provides heat testing support and full alpha composition support. Another advantage is hardware acceleration. The WPF graphics system takes advantage of graphics hardware to minimize CPU usage. Another advantage is the developer can implement the same code that was implemented on C Sharp 2.0 Windows Form Technology in XAML with less lines of codes. It makes the language more readable and provides much efficiency and also development and maintenance costs are reduced because appearance specific markup is not tightly coupled with behavior specific code. Development is more efficient because designers can implement an application's appearance simultaneously with developers who are implementing the application's behavior. Multiple design tools can be used to implement and share XAML to target the requirement of the application development contributors. Microsoft Expression Blend provides an experience that suits designers, while Visual Studio 2008 targets developers. WPF is designed to allow you to create dynamic data-driven presentation systems. 
Every part of the system is designed to create objects through property sets and drive behavior. Data binding is a fundamental part of the system and is integrated at every layer. Traditional applications create a display and then bind to some data. In WPF, everything about the control, every aspect of the display is generated by some type of data binding. The text found inside a button is displayed by creating a composed control inside of the button and binding its display to the button's content property. When you've been developing WPF-based applications, it should feel very familiar. You can set properties, use objects, and data bind in much the same way that you can using Windows Form or ASP.NET. With a deeper investigation into the architecture of WPF, you'll find that the possibility exists for creating much richer applications that fundamentally treat data as the core dri driver of the application. That's the end of this small tutorial. Thank you for listening.